Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy Monday. We're coming at you with a really nice mixer here. 18 box, an 18 box off-season baseball mixer. It's a random team break with a lot of nice stuff. Right here, all card ship. Get a box of Super Jumbo, Bowman Draft Super Jumbo, a Gilded Collection box, some Stadium Club, Mosaic Choice, Optic, Chrome Update, Tier 1. Some really nice stuff. And at the end of the break, we're going to randomize everybody's names again at the end of the break. And then we're giving away a case of Capstone Baseball. It's about a $1,900 plus value, give or take. So someone's going to win a sealed case. And you can do whatever you want with it. You can, you can resell it if you want to. You can rip it yourself. You know, sell half, rip half. It'll be yours. So big thanks to this group for getting into it. Thanks to the people who bought their spot straight up. And congrats again to the people who uh, gave those fillers a shot. And, uh, and once and we're lucky enough to win some spots, so congrats to you as well. All right, all 30 baseball teams are in. Let's do it. Let's roll it and randomize names and teams. Four and a six, 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Got Mike, down to Mike, after 10. Four and a six, 10 times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10th and final time. After 10, we've got the Rangers down to the Tampa Bay Rays. And trades are allowed, so kind of think about it. Trade at your own risk. Mike, you have the Rangers. Chad with the Giants. Josh with the A's. Tristan with the Royals. Brandon with the Nationals. Tristan with the Tigers. Ed P with the O's. Brandon, you got the Marlins. Christopher, Last Spot Mojo. Seattle Mariners. Raymond with the Rockies. Nick with the Brew Crew. Brandon with the Braves. Tristan with the Reds. Christopher with the Padres. Adam with the Diamondbacks. Uh, David with the Astros, Chad with the Blue Jays, Josh with the Angels, Twins, and Cubs, Raymond with the White Sox, Chris with the Pirates, Ryan Harold uh, with the Mets, there you go, Ryan, Chad with the Yankees, Joe with the Dodgers, Crystal with the Cardinals, Mark with the Phillies, Mike with the Guardians, Ryan with the Red Sox, and Mike with the Tampa Bay Rays. Ryan Harold, a Mets fan, so he's got to be happy with that draw. All right, let's... Uh, box these up. Let's alphabetize by team. All right, we're going to pause the video and allow for a little bit of a trade window. Uh, we already have the Red Sox up for trade, Yankees up for trade as well. So when we come back, we'll see if there's any trades and then we'll have the break. Stick around. Be right back. All right, welcome back everybody. A little bit of trade chatter, but uh, no deals were done. It's all good. Here on Monday the 6th, 2023, Monday, February 6th, your 18-box off-season baseball mixer. We're getting in, getting pretty close to the preseason now, which I'm very excited about. At the end of the break, we're going to re-randomize all these names. Name on top is going to win a sealed case of Panini Capstone Baseball. This is almost a $2,000 value. All right, so here's what we got. We got three boxes of... Optic 2022, three boxes of 2022 Topps Chrome Update, four boxes of Stadium Club, also 2022, 2022 Bowman Draft Super Jumbo, five Mosaic Choice boxes, a 2020 Tier 1 box, and of course, we'll end with Gilded Collection. So we'll keep those boxes off to my side right there, and let's, uh, let's go. Good luck, everybody. Yeah, I think you're going to be looking for Brian De La Cruz for the Marlins. Maybe some, some Jazz Chisholm. He's on, a, he's on the cover of MLB The Show, the upcoming version of it, for those of you who play that. Is there any crazy baseball news happening here? I don't think so. I guess everyone's just kind of waiting for the season to start. Mets claim Sam Coonrod and designate Khalil Lee. Well, I thought Khalil Lee was kind of a prospect, right? 
Nationals and Victor Robles avoid arbitration. Marlins sign Johan Quezada to, the, to a minor league deal. Ronald Guzman attempting to be a two-way player. Giants sign Sean Newcomb to a minor league deal. The and Angels family members, I think those that's the Orioles owners, right? Drops the lawsuits against one another. That's nice. I think a little while ago, Royals re-signed Zach Granke. Rangers hire Ian Kinsler as a special assistant. That's all according to MLBTradeRumors.com. I don't think anything crazy going on here. Nice, you have tickets to Rangers Mets in August for obvious reasons, right? Uh, to, to boo Jacob deGrom. I think we're excited about... I mean, he's on the cover of a video game, so I think the kids like Jazz Chisholm. Ah, Correa, Sam Banks, reporting out of the World Baseball Classic. And uh, Sam is saying Cardinals re-signed some, some shortstop today. You will be a boo bird. Yes. Jacob wanted to get paid. Good luck, everybody. Our first update box, first of 16. Trevor Story, green to 75. That's for Ryan Harold and the Red Sox. Number all card ship. If it's a refractor and has a all-star game logo on it, not numbered. But if it's just a regular card and a refractor, it will be numbered. So Trevor Story, Boston. I think update the autographs are few and far between. All right, here is Spencer Torkelson, purple. That's for the Tigers. That'll be for Tristan. We've got a base Bobby Witt Jr. for the Royals for Tristan as well, and a purple C.J. Abrams for the Padres. That's going to go to Christopher. And we got a nice Wander Franco rookie debut aqua parallel for Mike Freshwater and the Tampa Bay Rays. Nice one, Mike. 51 out of 250. It was a nice debut. Look at that. Two for four, two home runs, a walk, and three RBIs. I'll take it. There's his teammate, Vidal Brujan. Sam Banks predicting Jordan Walker will win Rookie of the Year. Nice purple Julio for Christopher. Last spot mojo. Nice. Love seeing parallels of the uh, top tier rookies. It's just a regular Torkelson. And Alex Fiedo right here. All right. Yeah, new MLB pipeline prospect list. Always good to look at when you're holding Bowman cards, that's for sure. All right, now let's stay with update. So Jazz Chisholm last year only logged in. I think there were some injuries, right? Only logged in 213 ABs, but hit 254, 14 home runs in that short amount of time. What does that project to be if he hit, got 500 at-bats, right? 30 home runs, 30-ish home runs, which is a pretty decent clip. So maybe that, that power is emerging. That power emerges, should be pretty nice. Baseball reference projects him to be 250, hit 15 home runs over 335 at-bats. 
You gotta think. If you put, he had 500 at bats last year, only had 18 home runs. So, if you look at his baseball reference, has a 162 game average. It's about 27 home runs for a shortstop on the cover of a video game. So, I don't know. Adam said he had a cracked ice rookie auto of his. Maybe uh, something to kind of hold on to and, and see how he does. Do you think Lars Newbar should have gotten the cover, Sam? Only if he's selling delicious, delicious Newt bars. All right. Next update box. Got a debut Julio Rodriguez and a Bobby Wood Jr. Is uh what's the other Bobby Wood Jr.? Oh that's a so the Bobby Wood Jr. where he's tossing up the baseball to a fan is that's the rookie debut one and this is his normal his regular base card. The rare autograph and update, it's going to be Rookie Auto Joe Barlow. Rangers, that's going to be for Mike in Texas. Remember, all card ship. There's a Julio Rodriguez rookie card. Another one for Christopher in Seattle. And another update box. Yeah, ESPN's reporting Correa is gonna skip the World Baseball Classic. Apparently his, uh, he and his wife expecting. His wife is due during that time. Dodgers going to retire uh, Fernando's Fernando Valenzuela's number 34 in August. Nice. No WBC limits for Otani. Angels future unclear. When's that World Baseball Classic happening? At the end of the month, maybe? I feel like I'm not feeling a lot of uh, pre-WBC hype, but I feel like once it's once that once it gets underway, I feel like you know, I'll watch it. I'll probably have some financial interest in it as well. Yeah, gotta gotta protect Correa's Correa's legs. If those medical rumors are true. Have uh, have any of the sports books released? Uh,
Yeah, Otani's very Japanese. Sam. I feel like that's mentioned in every other sentence when he's mentioned. Is Nubar playing for Japan? What's his connection to Japan? He must have been born there, maybe? Oh, his mom's Japanese. That's the connection. I didn't realize he was half Japanese. I did realize, though, he went to a high school in El Segundo. He is, uh, which is just about 15, 20 minutes north of us here. The pride of El Segundo. All right, another update box. That's right, Tam, now you know. No, I don't think they've updated. No, I don't think they've released win totals yet. Maybe that's uh, maybe at the end of the month. Please, God, no sophomore slump for Julio Rodriguez. No sophomore slump for him. Should we get a quick reminder what Julio Rodriguez did last year? 511 at bats, 6.2 war, 284, 28 home runs, 25 stolen bases. David, your local sports book has win totals. Yeah, g give us some interesting ones, David. Oliver, what's going on? How are you? Are there any interesting win total numbers that jump out to you? Oh, and another autograph, Elvis Andrews for Josh and the A's. Dodgers win total 96 and a half, thank you. Sounds about right. Let's hear the big teams. Yankees at 95. What do they have like the Mets at? Mets had a huge off season. Yeah, home run derby was amazing for Julio Rodriguez. Baseball reference being a little conservative on their projections for Julio Rodriguez. They have him at 281, 21 home runs, 18 stolen bases. Uh, let's do some, should we stay with tops? Yeah, no, we'll, we'll, we'll switch it up a little bit. Let's go a few boxes of Donner's Optic Baseball in 2022. Mets also at 95 wins. We've got a we've got kind of a tough division. That's where the Dodgers are, I think. All right, so in Donner's Optic, we're looking for two autographs a box on average. Plus, they, they hit you with a lot of parallels, too. All card ship. Um, I mean, the thing with the Dodgers, Brandon, yeah, Brandon's surprised that Dodgers have higher 
win total than the, than the Mets, at least according to David's local sports book, considering they haven't done much in the offseason. That's, <laughs> that's how good that team is. That's the, that's the, that's the crazy part. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the kids playing as well for the Dodgers. Um, yeah, I was really hoping that Edwin Rios would pan out too. But yeah, Miguel Vargas is gonna give is gonna get a, an opportunity to play every day, and um, you know, I mean, Dodgers have produced the likes of Cody Bellinger, Corey Seager, etc. So, so it's time to put their top five. Uh, Time to put their top five farm club, or top three farm club maybe, according to some. Let's put it to the test. Let's see what, let's see what we got. Spartan's wondering about uh, Cleveland, David. Do we have a Cleveland win total? Astros also at 96 and a half. They're the two front runners. Jays at 93, Padres at 93 and a half. Yeah, at Triple A, Miguel Vargas hit 300, 17 homers, 32 doubles, 16 stolen bases, almost as many walks as strikeouts, 71 walks, 76 strikeouts. So yeah, Vargas, Altman, Pajes, Michael Bush, Bobby Miller, yeah. Those are the guys that are all that all should see some time. The Tyler Gilbert, red, white, and blue to one ninety nine. That's what we want to see. Yeah, Cartaya could get some looks as well. There's Garrett Cole to the Yankees for Chad. Tyler Gilbert, rated rookie, It's going to go to Adam, Arizona. And we got Patrick Mazika, Mets edition. He's actually on the Dodgers now. Rated rookie on-card autograph for Ryan Harold and his Mets. And a redemption. And a orange Josiah Gray to 125. Got a Mookie Betts to 35. Diamond Kings insert. Bryce Harper. I think that's the neon parallel, maybe? They say it's ultra rare. I don't know how ultra rare it really is, but. There's uh, Johan Duran to 149. And let's see what that redemption is going to be. Pat, Pat Mazika, who had three RBIs before recording his first big league hit. How did he, like, walks? Hit by pitches? All right. Redemption is Seiya Suzuki. Elite Series signatures for the Cubbies. Joe Simone, Chicago Cubs. Nice. There you go, Cubbies. Another optic box. Yeah, if Miguel Vargas can can hit like two seventy something, show a little pop, show a little speed, and some some competent defense, all sack RBIs. Huh? 
That's a, that's a team player right there, Ryan. Team player. He's not looking out for himself. He's just moving, moving runners. But yeah, with Kartaya, Brandon was wondering earlier. I was wondering if they'll they'll tra if they'll trade Will Smith or Austin Barnes. Yeah, that'll be interesting. I feel like they think that Kartaya is still maybe a season away, unless he's ahead of schedule. But Will Smith, I think, is a a free agent at the end of this season or something like that or his final year of arbitration or something. So if Kartai is ahead of schedule, then you know, yeah, that might mean one of those guys not be here. Might not be here unless they move Will Smith to like a different position perhaps. Maybe they move him to first. Or they move Cartaya to first. I think they want Diego Cartaya to improve a little more defensively. Game calling. I think there's still some question marks around Michael Bush, too. There's Royce Lewis, 12 out of 25 for Minnesota. That'll be for Josh. And we got Eli Morgan. Cleveland, this is for you. It's going to go to Mike and the Guardians. Oh, that's true, right. You got Freddie Freeman at first base. Maybe Will Smith moves to second. But yeah, then Muncie's at second. Muncie should be, oh, here's Freddie Freeman. Muncie should be, uh, should start the season healthy, which I don't think was the case last year. So I'm looking forward to him having a, Mostly clean off season and coming back into the fold. You know, Max Muncy in the second half definitely was looking a lot better. But what are our expectations of Max Muncy? Like, you know, we want to see, yeah, we want to see all star Max Muncy from 2021 where he hit 250, 36 home runs, 94 RBIs, you know, 26 doubles. That's, that's, that's the Muncy you want to see. Hot some pop in that lineup. He was 10th in MVP voting that year. It's Jonathan India to 249. And the second auto is Chaz McCormick, rated rookie on card auto for David and the Houston Astros. Right, no shift could help the average numbers. That's for sure. He's got a pretty good eye too. He's got, he's logged in 90 walks last season. He's almost a hundred walk guy. A lot of, still a lot of strikeouts, but he also gets a lot of AP. He's had 141 strikeouts last year. All right, third and final Donner's Optic Box, and we'll move into some Stadium Club. Move Vargas to second, Muncie at third. All right, that could work. I think they're going to keep Gavin Lux at shortstop for now. Has Vargas played second? I feel like he's always been a third baseman or outfield guy.
Oh, Gar Bard is more comfortable at second. All right. Mookie Betts used to play. What if, what if they slide Mookie Betts back to second base? And I feel like Dodge have a lot of outfielder prospects I can throw out there. That's the 199, Kyle Tucker. Astros, that'll be for David. Trevor Story to 149. Um, either way, it'll be interesting to see how all that works. How hopefully we'll have a, Dodgers will have a lot of young kids getting opportunity to show off that farm system a little bit. There's Andrew Vaughn. For the White Sox, that's going to be for Raymond. On the South Side, is a lot of mail going out today too. Twenty-three out of fifty. Yeah, does Hayward even make the roster? I feel like they like Jason Hayward as that sort of, as that sort of. Uh, oh, there's Andre Jackson. He might get some more looks this year. He cuts out on those walks. Could be effective middle back of the rotation guy. Joe with the Dodgers. 29 out of 150. I think they like Jason Hayward, sort of that veteran presence in the locker room. Oh, there's JD Martinez, who isn't he isn't he on the Dodgers? I think he'll he'll probably be in the DH spot a lot of the time. Uh, Brian Reynolds going to Chris and the Pirates, and here's a Wander Franco rated rookie card going to Mike and the Rays. All right, into some stadium club. I'm moving nicely in this break here. Yeah, JD DH only, right? Here's the big Mark McGuire box topper. Pretty cool. Born and raised in uh, where I grew up. Yeah, that rotation isn't, it's pretty solid too. Julio Urias, Kershaw, Tony Gonsolin, Dustin May, Noah Syndergaard. Noah Syndergaard looked pretty decent for the Phillies, I think, right? Right, I agree. I would love to see Dustin May put together a complete season. I feel like he was really kind of getting there before he went down with that Tommy John injury. And it, when he came back at the end of last year, he looked okay. But yeah, it definitely looked like he had a lot of rust that he needed to really knock out and just kind of get. But after a full off season and a full spring training, I feel like he should be he should be all right. Yeah, Miguel Rojas got a little extension. I think he'll be playing that Kike role. He might be playing more than we think, maybe. At least around the infield, we'll move him around. Right, and then you can fill in a lot of spot starters with yeah, like Andre Jackson or Bobby Miller. We'll get Bueller back. It'll be interesting to see Walker Bueller, what kind of pitcher he's going to be after the second Tommy John surgery. All right, Stadium Club, excellent photography here. Bobby Witt Juniors. And 
is a Spencer Torkelson team of the future card. There's Patrick Mazika again. And Ryan was saying he was a, he was a legend for a minute or two. Ryan Harold with the Mets. Ultimately, the Dodgers, yeah, the Dodgers didn't didn't win the off season necessarily, but I don't think they really had to win the off season. So I think they'll be fine. I mean, I think a lot of Dodgers fans and a lot of people around the league kind of freaked out and was like, "Well, the Dodgers did nothing. They lost everybody." You know, they didn't really. <laughs> and I think I think once those Vegas win totals start coming out, it'll still. So it'll be like what David was saying earlier. It's it's going to be in the mid nineties. Yeah, and Vegas tends to tends to be tends to not all the time, but maybe with the bigger numbers, I think they or the popular teams they kind of figure it out. They get it right. Shane Boz. Black and white. Yeah, I do love the Stadium Club. The The photography really excellent on Stadium Club. Here's Team of the Future Jazz Chit. I don't know why these are turned around. Are these any, any more short printed or not? I don't know, I don't think so. Two autos in every box. Here's a Colton Welker rookie auto for the Rockies. Raymond and the Rocks. A number of years back, we were at the National and we sat down with a, uh, we did like a case break of this, um, this Derek Jeter die cut. There's a Stadium Club Chrome card, Hunter Green for the Reds. Tristan. We sat down with the uh, person uh, who was involved with the production of that particular year's Stadium Club. And, um, you know, the highlight of Stadium Club is obviously, look at that Nolan Ryan, that photography. Being able to find unique photos, and she said that it was like, it's, uh, it's, it's a pretty fun project, just being sifting through a bunch of photos and trying to find fun shots like this. So a little more emphasis placed on on photography, which is one of the hallmarks of this set. All right, another box, another two autos. Colton Welker is a giant now. Is he? What was the, what was that move? Must have went under my radar. Oh, we got a big Juan Soto card right here. Nice, for the Nats, Brandon. I see. It was, it was the Rockies ownership saying, I think we can trade away talent and play 500 ball. Apparently to them, that's something to aspire to. Which made that... Which made the Chris Bryant deal all, all the more... 
curious, I guess. I would have taken that money and locked up Nolan Arenado instead. Right side up and upside down. All right. Shot right there, that Aaron Judge against the corn. There's a Julio Rodriguez rookie card for the Mariners, Christopher. And there's a Curtis Terry autograph for the Twins, Josh Smith and the Twins. Yeah, Oliver agreeing. He's like, man, hot trash. They used to be, yeah, they used to be a pretty fun team. But yeah, not, not sure, not sure what they're doing here. Bobochet die cut. Yeah, no kidding. Where everything is backwards when. Except when they're forward. That's number. That's a Tyler Gilbert blue foil. 23 out of 50 for Adam in Arizona. That's a cool shot right there, Bo Jackson, those guns. Now oh, the Field of Dreams stuff, really cool. And there's our second autograph, that's a Yol Pozo for the Rangers. That's going to be for Mike. Am I missing the box of Gilded? No, I am not. Right over here. We've got the mosaic boxes right here, the tier one box, and the Gilded box right back there. Professional, Brandon. Come on. You think I'd forget the gilded box? No. Oh, 
All right, two more Stadium Club boxes. Four more autographs, two autos a box, and then we'll get into the Super Jumbo, and then we'll get into the other stuff off to the side over here. All right, there's Bryce Harper. Yeah, I think it did. I, I forget what we were selling it for. I mean, the original price was like two or three something. And then someone, someone I think in the chat, or maybe it was Nick Jaspi or someone like that, was just like, yeah, not, after we sold out of them too, we didn't have any more. And then we were like, yeah, they're like $600, $550, $600 a box now, which is crazy. Why are the Antonellis and their cheese shops still getting Capital One commercials? I feel like they've been on, are they raking in the royalties on this for like the last two years? Kind of over the Antonellis. I'm sure they're nice people, but. We're, we're, we're all the end we're all Antonelli's now all right another box this one looks a little more a little less upside down and right side up than the other box Spoke too soon. Oh, there's the autograph. It's Zach Lothar. It's kind of a cool shot right there. I like that. Rookie auto for Ed and the O's. Numbered as well, three out of 50. Alec Baldwin did used to do some capital. Yeah, maybe they're just like that was our that was our budget. Now we gotta we gotta make up for it. Let's, we just gotta run the Antonelli's commercial a thousand more times. And we got a Carlton Fist to twenty five. Nice, that's pretty cool. Red Sox. It's gonna be for Ryan. Salvador Perez. And the other autograph is a Chaz McCormick. Rookie auto for the Strohs. That's for David from the Astros. Yeah, Ryan did try to trade the Red Sox. Tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo. That's a cool shot right there. Ronald Acuna Jr. die cut for the Braves, Brandon. Jackie doing here? Is that a crossword puzzle?
All right, one more box of Stadium Club. Apparently, MLB.com has every team's projected 2023 home run leader. Let's go to let's go to the Dodgers. It's my team. They're projecting Mookie Betts to be the home run leader with 31. Betts is projected to be the only Dodger to reach the 30 homer mark for the second straight season. Is that right? I guess so. If you're, in case you're curious, they're projecting Aaron Judge. No surprise there to be the team leader in home runs with with 44. What does everyone think? Does Aaron Judge ever hit 60 homers again? Does he ever top 50 again? Oh, those are a lot of home runs. It's a tough task. You're basically talking like baseball's a six month season, ten homers a month. It's a lot. All right, fourth and final stadium club box, two more autos in here. Will the thrill. Spencer Torkelson to the Tigers, Tristan. And there's a Lucas Giolito autograph for the White Sox. That's going to be for Raymond. Numbered? No, not numbered. I'm assuming Mike Trout. Oh, that's also a members only card too. I'm assuming Mike Trout will be the team leader in homers or Otani. MLB's projecting 39. Projecting Otani to have 35 homers. This is for the Angels, for Josh Smith. With the uh, members only stamp on that card. I don't know, I think that's pretty short printed. I feel like we haven't seen a lot of these. And we have a Cutter Crawford. Tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo. Ryan with the Red Sox. 
It's our first auto, right? We should be looking for one more. I think so. No, we got the Lucas Giolito and the Cutter Crawford's our second auto. Okay. Got it. That's Phillies, by the way. Aaron Nola with his brother. Not to get too ahead of ourselves, but I think Aaron Nola is a free agent after the end of this season. There's a Julio Rodriguez rookie card. It's another one for Christopher and the Mariners. That's that for Stadium Club, nice. All right, now let's see what we've got in 2022 Bowman Draft Super Jumbo. Looking for five autographs in here. On a sausage link packs here. And again, all card ship. So this is the last box with kind of like a lot of base cards and then the rest of these should be a breeze. We'll be closing out with the, uh, with the gilded box, of course. Is that an orange parallel? No. And we got a Chase Meadruff, Boston. It's another one for Ryan Harrell. Tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo. Yeah, Danny Brandon was just mentioning that too. How much you th How much are those gilded boxes? Where are they at right now? What's that was the, my high school what's teammate. The, what's the market? What, Chase Meadruff? Chase Meadruff. Yeah. Meadruff? Yeah, Manhattan Look Beach Look at that, boy. Torrance, California. That's yeah. where he was born. <laughs> nice. It doesn't say he knows you on the back of the baseball well, card. I, but my best friend has a brother, Connor, and Connor's uh, on the back of the cards. Has one younger brother, Connor. <laughs> Look at this. See? Jonah knows. Jonah's not, Jonah's not making things up.
We got a Jack Brannigan green speckle, 74 out of 99. Does Ryan have every auto in this? I don't. I don't think so. Maybe a quarter of the autos. Maybe a little bit less. Mar Johnson, Bowman first paper for the Pirates, Chris Parent. Base Otani from Gilded is, is, is at 265 on eBay with several days left. Wild. There's Wilman Diaz, Speckle, not numbered. Everything ships. And there's Jacob Marcy, 496 out of 499, Christopher with the Padres. Brian Acuna, Ronald's brother, 335 out of 499, paper for uh, Josh, the twins. Nice Jackson Holiday. Holiday. <laughs> Orioles paper, Jackson Holiday going to Ed and the O's. Another Jackson Holiday, chrome this time. Tamar Johnson. And a Henry Bolt. 66 out of 79 for the A's. That will be for Josh and the A's. And there's a Ryan Ceramac for the Rays. Mike with Tampa Bay. Don't the A's have a Sky Bolt as well in their, in their system? We got a Jackson Curio to 150 blue paper. One of the Brit Brewers' big prospects, Nick. With the uh, there he is again, Nick with the Brew Crew. Elijah Green for Brandon, another one of their up and coming prospects. Fifth overall pick. Two more stacks to go, and then on to the quick stuff. I 
And there's Jason Carrillo, Jackson's brother. We're looking for one or two more autographs to make five. There we go. Cutter Coffee, 73 out of 250. For the Red Sox, Ryan Harold tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo. Could have made an offer, ladies and gentlemen. No, no one made him an offer. There's Dalton rushing to 199. Ryan, Ryan's living rent-free in Chad's head. There really hasn't been that many Red Sox autographs, but... He's like, man, that guy has all the luck. Could have made a trade offer, Chad. I don't know if... Uh, would, have, would Ryan have taken that? Ryan, would you have taken the Yankees for Red Sox? More Red Sox than the Yankees, but listen, we we haven't we haven't even gone to all of this stuff yet, Chad. And there's Justin Boyd, 107 out of 150 for Cincinnati. That's going to go to Tristan in the Reds. And that's for the Twins, that's to 199, that'll be for Josh. And this one will go to the Pirates, that'll be for Chris. And a Dominique Keegan to 499. All righty, that's the Super Jumbo. Let's get into five boxes of Mosaic Choice. Two, four, six, eight, ten autos. What we're looking for here. Good luck. Castellanos, 20 out of 64. Love these peacocks. That's Max Kepler peacock from Minnesota. That's going to be for Josh. The Castellanos Reds edition going to Tristan. All right. Behind Will Crow and Fernando Tatis Jr. is a redemption. The autograph is Joe Adele, Angels. It's going to be for Josh Smith. Redemption is, is Oscar Colas, who I believe is a pirate. Yar. No, he's a White Sox. Sorry, Pirates. He's Chicago White Sox. That's Raymond with the Southsiders. Nice. That's right, Chad. White Sox. 
All right. Next two autos. All right, we got a Matt Olson to 64, 40 out of 64 for the A's, Josh. We got Manny Machado here to 64. Christopher and the Padres. Luis Gonzalez. And behind Eloy Jimenez, a couple autos here. We got one for the Mets, rookie autographs, David Peterson. That's for Ryan and his Mets. And Trevor Rogers for the fish. That's going to be for Brandon and the Marlins. All right, another two. We got Alex Rodriguez, 21 out of 64. It's Yankees edition, going to Chad. Chris Bassett for the A's to 64. It'll be for the A's, Josh Smith. Got Ian Anderson, Dane Dunning. We have a Aroldis Chapman. And behind Kettle Marte is... Adonis Medina, rookie autographs for the Phillies. That's going to go to Mark and the Fightin' Phils. And we got Christian Javier, rookie autograph. He's pretty good. That's going to go to David and the Astros. Another two autographs. All right, Andrew Benintendi to 64. Kansas City, Tristan. Will Smith for my Dodgers. That's gonna go, to, uh, that's a 64, that'll be for Joe. Not this Joe, Joe, Joe Simone, not Joe Jasky. All right, another two autographs. Good luck, everybody. First off, we got a Marco Gonzalez. And your autos, it's going to be Tyler Stevenson, Tristan, and the Reds. And we got a Monty Harrison, 30 out of 99. That's going to go to the Fish. That's for Brandon and the Marlins. Cool design in this mosaic, I like it. All right, final two autographs out of mosaic choice. There's Joey Bart to 64. Chad and the Giants, Chad Cromwell and the Giants. Pudge to 64. Texas, that'll be for Mike. Casey Mize, Jorge Ona. And we've got an Adam Wainwright. And your autographs behind Andres Jimenez is Braxton Garrett, another Marlin. 44 out of 88. It's another one for Brandon. And it's another Marlin. It is Nick Nider. That's for Brandon and the Marlins. There you go. Chad would Chad Daw was saying five more Red Sox autos. No, I look like four or five uh, Marlins autos in there. All right. 2020 Tops Tier One Baseball.
All right. We got Andrew Benintendi, 17 out of 25. It'll be a uh, Red Sox for Ryan. And then a couple autographs. We got Al Kaline, 33 out of 100. Tigers, that'll be for Tristan and the Tigers. And this autograph is a Whit Merrifield auto. 73 out of 299 Royals. Tristan and the Royals. All right, now. Topps Gilded Collection. Good luck. Yeah, Adam was going to offer you Diamondbacks for the Yankees, Chad. Might have been a fair trade. Yeah, well, would it be a break without a Whit Merrifield autograph? Cool. Is that the auto spot right there? No, that's Hunter Green. Zach Short. And Teoscar Hernandez is your auto, along with Colton Welker. And there's Yachty back here as well. Wow, these, these look really cool. Colton Welker, it's still Rockies edition here, going to Raymond and the Rocks. To 99, 78 out of 99. The Teoscar Hernandez is to 50, 38 out of 50 for the Blue Jays. That's for Chad Cromwell and the Bluebirds. Zach Short is to 50. Tigers, that's, that'll be for Tristan. And the Hunter Green to 199. That's going to be for Cincinnati, also for Tristan. All right, well, what do we got in here? The gold frame. Is going to be. A Red Sox, Big Boppy, David Ortiz, three out of 30. Nice one. Ryan Harold tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo. He, he wanted to give him up. Nice. All right. Now, before I do the recap... And before some of you despair because you went hitless, remember, we're giving away that case. Let's see who wins that case, and then we'll do the recap. All right, let's flip back over here. Everyone's got a shot at that capstone case. And I've got it on my back table over here. There it is. 16 box cap, this is really heavy, 16 box capstone case. Sealed. We'll ship it to you sealed. Let's see who gets it. Let's gather everybody's names from 1 through 30. <laughs> Adam wants a zero roll. His name's on top already. Um, no, we're going to have to do a dice roll, I'm afraid, Adam. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Two and a five. It's going to be lucky seven for one person on that list. Good luck. One, two, 
three, four, five, and two more times, six, and seventh and final time. Drum roll, drum roll, drum roll. A lot of sad faces here. Oof, sorry, Chris. Very close, but not quite. But congrats to, after seven, Chad Cromwell. I don't think I called your number very often during this break. But from a spot that you won in the filler, you got randomized to the top after seven. You're going to get a full case of capstone going your way. Congrats to you. All right. Thanks, everybody, for getting in. Here's a quick little recap from our 18-box off-season baseball mixer. Some pretty nice stuff here. Along with that case being given away. Real nice break. That's Oscar Colas. That Mike Trout was the members only stamp. Some Torkelson. Say a Suzuki for the Cubs. This is some stuff from Update. That Wander Franco was pretty nice to 250. Purple Spencer Torkelson back there as well. There you go, gang. I'm Joe for jazbeescaserakes.com. Thanks for getting into our 18-box off-season baseball mixer. Listen, with the baseball season right around the corner, we're going to have a lot more baseball on the site. We're going to talk more baseball, so stick with us all baseball season long. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.